golf swing emanates from a centered axis of rotation. And what that means for how the body actually needs to move to keep the swing centered so you can actually transmit velocity correctly in a golf swing and actually have good strikes. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna use my pro and I'm gonna show you swings on three different levels. One on what I'm gonna call a baseball, but a very horizontal to the ground swing. Then one that's kind of a hybrid between that baseball plane and the golf plane. And then finally going back down into, into the golf motion and what that actually means for how you have to work. But let's start with a centered axis of rotation. To swing a golf club effectively, you are going to have a center piece that as once we get to the top of the swing, which is about in your thorax region, is going to stay very centered. So the transmission of energy from the arms to the golf club is very predictable. So if my center is moving around a lot, it really complicates the swing. I can't, I can't actually transfer momentum outward outward or inward from my inward center outward to the golf club and have a predictable um, circle of a swing if my center is moving around too much. Now for most players getting them centered is easy if I could just have them swing on kind of a flat plane like so. So when I'm swinging my pro it becomes very eminent because I because it's I'm I'm governed by the physics of swinging something that is pliable. I have to stay centered to create speed and to create a sense of predictability. So if I start trying to move sideways, it kind of messes up the rhythm and, and the timing of where, of where things are gonna swing. When I stay upright, all I have to do is pretty much twist. I don't have to do anything, anything else with my body. So most of us have enough range of motion upright to turn. But when I start to tilt forward, I'm gonna go into my second level of swing here. Now I actually have to start to create a little bit of different movement. And then finally, when I go down to my full, my, my regular swing, to get this arc tilted back down to the ground, my movement pattern has to change. And I can feel that as I'm getting older. Yeah, certain things really need to be able to move. And so it's a good idea for everybody to, to, to spend some time on doing some yoga or getting their golf flexibility to the maximum so they can continue to move and enjoy the game for as long as possible. But, Coming back to it, as I go into more of, a, more of a regular golf plane where I'm swinging down to the ground, my body has to learn how to do some different movements. So what was very easy up here for all these things to move and kind of and support the swing, all of a sudden when I tilt forward, if I just did the rotational movement, I'd, look, I'd move like this. Now I got a huge problem. <laughs> And a lot of players try to play like this. And when you try to play like this, you cannot predict where the circle of the swing is going. So you have to become very handsy and very casty to hit the golf ball. So what you need to learn how to do to have a good, cent to have a good centered motion, and what I'm gonna show you here is we're just gonna do some simple exercise. We're gonna cross the arms across the chest. Just work on doing this and see how centered I can stay. Then I want you to go to about the plane of kind of like that mid, mid range. So I'm not down in the golf posture yet, but I'm not straight up and down. And I want to try to make that same turn. And if I do that, I should notice as I tilt forward, I actually can't just rotate. I actually have to stay centered. I have to feel my up, my, my trail leg straighten here a little bit. And my spine slightly side bends. So I start to actually have a little bit of this as I'm doing this. That's the only way I'm going to stay centered. And finally, if I get down to my posture where everything's going to swing to the ground, there becomes a heck of a lot more side bend and, or an equal amount of side bend or rotation almost and some extension of the spine to get you to be able to do this. So right as I come through here, like all of a sudden I can feel, wow, I've got to really kind of push up through my, my left hip to be able to keep myself in a centered spot. And that takes a heck of a lot of flexibility and mobility to be able to do that. Okay? But anybody can improve that if they're willing to take a little time on again, developing their flexibility and just start to practice this in a mirror where you actually make a turn while feeling this kind of pull back and staying as centered as possible and start to get a feel with how your legs and your lower body actually have to move to create rotation. Once I have that, then I actually can swing and actually create a lot of force and speed because I'm able to maintain a centered swing. From down the line, that would look like this. I can actually get a very predictable plane, but you can see the way my lower body moves, it's actually rotating and pushing back up as I come through. And as I'm going back, it's, it's, I'm rotating and also kind of pushing back up on this side. So to be centered in a golf swing, you have to learn three different types of movement and blend them all together, which is a ch definitely a challenge and one of the things that makes golf more challenging. I can't just have rotation. 
I actually have to have side bending movements and then also have to have some flexion and some extension in this in, in all at the same time and that's what allows for a nice centered golf swing. All right, I hope you guys all found that helpful and we'll see you all next time.